What's up, YouTube? This is your boy, Super Barber Sampson, with another banging video. Hey, check this out. This guy who I'm about to cut, he found us on Google. I told y'all about Google. Get your Google pages up popping, right? And so he needed a haircut. He went to the same barber over and over and over. He got tired of it because the barber could never tell him about how to conceal. He was like, my hair is not completely gone, but he just felt he felt like he just felt like not good about how he looked and so he said i need you to change how i look so that's the video it's about to go down let's go huh? let's go what's up y'all as you see homeboy is like he's so super excited about this because he's been waiting for so long to get a haircut that uh, and go to somebody who can meticulously handle this bald spot that he has, this thinnest spot. It's not actually all bald. So he's literally talking to me about like, hey, what can we do to fix this? And so meanwhile, he's kicking it with me and I said, all right, the first thing we're gonna do, I sped this up just for uh, uh, YouTube purposes. Uh, you know, I did take a little longer on this haircut. Um, so I had to speed it up because I, I wanted you guys to see. But the first thing I'm doing is I'm taking off bulk. I'm creating a canvas so his hair can lay down even at the top so I can see or get the vision of what I want to continue to do with his hair. His hair, he has somewhat straight hair. Um, it's not very straight. It has some curl to it, some wave pattern to it. But for the most part, it's not um, It's not the afro thick curly hair. Um, his, I think he said his dad is, um, his, his mom is, is uh, black and, and his uh, dad is Japanese. So he has a different type of hair texture than what you would normally see in a barbershop. So as I said, I'm, I'm literally um, cleaning up his uh, cleaning up the, the, the bulky, the bulky, he has a lot of bulk around the thin spot. So what I'm simply doing is cleaning up and preparing a canvas so I can work around what I need to do in order to get his, his um, hair to all the way lay down in the way I need it to lay down. So for an example, like his hair at the very top of his crown literally sticks up. And so this actually makes the, the light spot stand out because it's like a silhouette of hair right behind where it's thin at. So it, it, um, that part makes his, makes his skull look higher at the very, very top. And so as you can see, I'm already like, I'm, I'm cutting, I cut that down and it gave me a working space or gave me a canvas so I can begin to start giving him a fade. And it, you know, it's just a little simple temple, temper tape, um, but I'm doing it to take the um, attention off of the top of his head. So in essence, yes, I could give him a high ball fade, right? So there won't be no, there'll be no hair left on his sides and on his back if I was to give him that type of a haircut, right? And the attention will be on the top of the hair, right? So the, the whole idea of this, this is like a, there's a method to everything that I try my best to do and try to do it successfully. I literally say, okay, well, let's take the tension off of the, 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 the sides and everything and the top. So the main idea is before I start to enhance the top, um, I'm telling him, I don't think you should have sideburns. I think you should cut them all off. And he was like, cut them all off? He said, yeah, I, I'm just gonna clean it up, clean your face off. I'm gonna do whatever I can to um, make make you look as clean as possible. I said, so what I'm gonna do is clean it off, give you some uh, short sideburns because the structure of your face, I want people to concentrate on your mustache, your beard, 
and 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 your and your haircut, but I want them to mainly be concentrated on the 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 shape up, uh, the full head of hair, the haircut, right? I want him. I want everyone to be concentrated on that versus concentrated on the top of your head. So everybody's been used to how the top of your head has looked. And so what I'm gonna do is change that and, and give everybody something different to look at because they've been looking at you for so long with this type of a haircut that it's time to change it. And so he would normally get like a, a ball fade and the top would, you know, start to thin out and everybody got used to it. So I think I would more so shock the system or shock his peers, shock his family, shock his friends, his girlfriend, whatever, who, you know, people who are in his life or people who are around him, shock them with a different style of a haircut. He usually wears like a chin strap, where we're taking that chin strap off and we're cleaning them up, we're giving them a, a brand new look. Now, some of you, some of you may say like, how do, you know, how can I give somebody a brand new look? And you, it's your job, especially as a barber. And this is, I'm talking to my barbers. Um, for my barbers, like your job as, uh, as a barber is to do whatever it takes to make, to make that person look in a place or put, or put, put that, put that uh, client in a chair where he looks totally different. And when he gets out of the chair, it changes not just his emotions, it changes everything that he has going on, right? And so he feels excited about how he looks. He feels excited about how he dresses. He feels excited. So you want that 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 client to feel brand new. You want him to get up smiling. You want him to get up and say, "Yo, you really changed my life." Like so the objective is is to is to give that client a whole new package of self-esteem bottled up in a haircut, right? Because you could change somebody. If, if, if you make someone feel good about themselves, then what happens is it, they, it affects everything they do. It affects how they go into their relationships, whether it's dating, or whether it's a job, or whether it's around his family, or wherever he goes, he's going to feel good about himself no matter where he's at, right? So that's the whole idea. And you can change somebody's whole appearance by just changing their facial um, expressions. Like now you're able to see him smile. Before you couldn't even really see him smile as much because he had all of that hair. If you look at here on the side of his face, he got that big beard. And so and he would just let it rock out like that because he never was really happy the way overall how his hair was looking. And so we're here to change that. And this is for my clients. So like if, you, if you're deciding to say, I want to go for a new look, I'm tired of the old me, I'm tired of, of, um, I'm tired of how my hair looks, I want to change, I want to do something new, I want to do something fresh, um, find a barber, if you're not in my area, but find a barber that can facilitate that, that can give you some consultation on the structure of your face, the structure of your head, and how, you know, because every time, a lot of times people will look on, say like Instagram, or look on different type of social media sites, and find photos and find pictures, and they will walk into the barbershop and say, I want this type of haircut. But that haircut is not necessarily the best haircut to give that person, or to give you, right? Because your hair texture is totally different, even though it's a, it's a banging banging haircut it still may not be for you you may ha not have the right pattern hair pattern I mean I can get it close to it I can I mean most times people come in I, I give them that haircut that they want and they just like say if they come in with the say I want to drop fade I want it to look like this right but then they actually wanted to come out looking like that photo nine times out of ten you can get close but you'll never get it looking like that photo why? Because you're not that barber and you're not that client sitting in that chair. So you don't know what that barber did to make it look like that Instagram photo. You don't even know if he photoshopped it. You don't know if he dyed the hair. You don't know if he used enhancements. You know, there's so many different things that go into a look that you may see in a picture. 
right? And so th this is especially for my clients. So don't come in the shop thinking that you could get something identical to what you may see on social media because it may not happen that way. I'm, I'm almost and I'm almost 100% sure that it won't happen that way. And reason being is because most times uh, barbers just do things different. Barbers cut different. You know, the way I may give a temper tape fade, somebody else may not, you know what I'm saying? So um, yes, it's the same, uh, almost the same steps, but sometimes like I use a lot of shortcuts in my fade. My blend sometimes can be longer than other barbers. Some barbers, their blends is shorter. So, which I mean, I, I mean by shorter, I mean it's in a shorter space than what it would than what it would normally be, right? So this is how you change uh, the trajectory of somebody' face. I mean their haircut or their style by simply just looking at the hair, looking at the canvas, and already imagine what you want it to look like, right? So I just started putting all these posts up on Instagram about how to imagine something and then do it. Imagining it and then do it. If you wanna make that haircut look like something, you have to first imagine it, then do it. Okay, so now you see me here, I, I'm, I'm really building. This is the first time this client is coming in, right? And so what I'm literally telling him right now is that, you know, um, you're, you're here, I'm building a bond with him, I'm building a relationship with him, I'm kicking with him, I'm talking with him, I'm telling him how I feel about this type of a hairstyle, I'm asking him what barbershop he went to, so I'm basically building a rapport with, with this new client and, and building a friendship. It's like when you meet somebody for the first time, you're like, hey, what's going on, brother? What's your name? 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 Right? And you literally talking to them and you're like literally asking them like, hey, what's going on, such and such, what are the things you like, what are the things I like, blah, 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 so on and so on, where you get your hair cut at before, such and such and such and such. I am literally asking him all those questions. Why? Because I want him to, to, to I want him and me and, my, me and him to start building a bond of trust. So I want him to, next time he get in my chair, he's gonna trust me a little bit more than he does now. Now, he really doesn't know how the haircut is gonna look. He's only taking my word for it because I'm a professional, right? I'm, I'm, I'm a licensed barber. And so every licensed barber is not gonna give him the look that I can give him, right? And this is what I am not just pitching to him, well, I'm, literally I'm pitching it to him because he don't know if it's factual until I, until I um, show and prove what I can literally do for him, right? And so, to be honest with you guys, this is like a $75 cut, right? And, right, this is a $75 cut, and here's the, here's, the, here's the crazy thing about this haircut. Not only did he tip me great, right? But this is really a basic haircut, uh, right? So, what I'm trying to get you guys to see that I'm saying it in every one of my videos because all of the barbers that I mentor, I want you to really catch this. So this is a service. This is an enhancement service that I am giving to a client. I'm giving him an enhancement service, right? With a temper tape, a temper tape uh, um, fade out back beard cleanup haircut right and if you notice i'm not doing too much with the face i don't you know i don't need all the thing i need to do is clean shape and shave i'm not i didn't pull out the razor right i didn't do i didn't do any of that so this is really for me this is one of the most basic haircuts you can give minus the the uh minus the um the enhancement right minus the enhancement this is literally a basic basic haircut right so the idea here is to give him just a taste of what is about to come and so now like when he comes into the shop next time i probably throw the razor on him because he doesn't even really know what to get because he's never he he's not used to getting 
um, a full service haircut. But he's, he's he told me he's willing to invest in himself to take it to the next level so he can have a better uh, um, a, a better look. And he, he wants a better look and he wants a consistent better look. He wants to stay looking good all the time. So what's the next thing I tell him? The next thing I tell him is this. Listen, bro, you're going to have to start coming every week. Right? So if you see this, his hair, how it's thinning out, now I'm putting a little got to be in it. I'm putting, um, what I do is I put a layer on the bottom and then I put the, uh, the fibers and then I put a layer on top. That's how you hold it to be, for, for it to be solid. Solid, right? And so that is the key. That's how you change uh, um, somebody's uh, uh, thinking about the, the barber who's cutting their hair is you give them a little bit more you get them a little bit more so they can know that it's like man uh, you can ask any one of my clients and say man the experience is different every time i sit in this man's chair i don't know what it is but every time i sit in this man's chair he's always doing something to kind of like change and um, make me feel good make me look good man he said uh, and, and and him or she he or she they all say the same thing they love sitting in my chair because I'm always doing something new. But I, next week I may say, "Hey, you know what? Why don't you just come in and I'm gonna give you a facial." A lot of my, a lot of my high dollar clients, I give, I throw in a facial, right? I throw in a facial. Why? Yeah, it may be, it may be a fifty dollar service, a seventy five dollar service, right? But I can eat that because it, it's gonna take maybe thirty minutes of my time, 20, 30 minutes extra of my time. But that client keeps coming to me. Right, I have another one client. Um, he drives all the way out here, 45 minutes to get here. I got another client drives hours away from here just to come and get a haircut once a week or every other week. Right, and so how how can I service them, or how can I keep my customers happy? I give them incentives, right? And they don't know, they never know when it's going to come. They know it's going to come soon, but they don't know when, right? And so every week I surprise them. I make them feel happy. I make them feel good about themselves. And guess what? When they sit inside my chair, not only do I change their life, when they walk out, they walk out like, man, this is a brand new feeling that I never felt at any other barbershop. No other barber has given them what I'm able to offer them. I, I, I hope y'all catching this. I hope y'all feeling what I'm saying. But this is how you take it to the next level, all right? This is your boy, Super Barber. Hey, hit that bell button, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and this is your boy. You see how he feeling this cut? This is how we do it, and this is how we get down. Let's go!